Welcome back, fans, to your leading entertainment news show on WPTV6. Let's move on to some music. From the latest in music news to albums and concerts, we've got you covered. Let's send it over to our music master, Gabe, to get the scoop. Thanks, guys. Gabe here with your latest in music news, and I'm just going to jump right to it. So the resurgence of Journey and the band's hit Don't Stop Believing may have given fans hope of a reunion, but former lead singer Steve Perry says that's not likely going to happen. It's like any emotional committed relationship. At some point, they seem to have a shelf life, and bands are no exception, says Perry. Life has moved on for all of us in different places in our lives. They're doing what they're doing. They have been since 98, and I've been doing what I'm doing, which is living my life and having a personal life. Perry, who rarely does detailed interviews, spoke to the Associated Press by phone late October, ahead of the release of Journey's October release, Greatest Hits Volume 2, and the remastered version of Perry's 1984 solo album, Street Talk, which includes a number one hit, Oh Sherry, and the ballad Foolish Heart. His former bandmates have continued on since Perry's departure 13 years ago, performing as Journey with a new lead singer, Arnell Pineda. Pineda sounds just like Perry who was once ranked by Rolling Stone magazine as number 76 of the greatest 100 singers of all time. A new album of recording by the late singer Amy Winehouse will be released in December, Island Records just announced. It said Lioness Hidden Treasure will contain 12 songs, previously unreleased tracks, alternate versions of existing hits, and brand new songs, recorded by the beehive-wearing singer who died at, in her London home on July 23rd. The label says Winehouse's longtime musical partners Mark Ronson and Salam Remy have spent time since her death listening to recordings of the singer who, many said, never records the same song twice. If the family had felt that this album wasn't up to the standard of Frank and Back to Black, we would never have agreed to release it and we believe it will stand as a fitting tribute to Amy's musical legacy. A donation of one pound from the sale of each album in the UK will go to disadvantaged children and young, young adults set up in the artist's name in her foundation following her death. In a heated verbal exchange in her home, singer-rapper Nicki Minaj cursed out a former maid whom a source says mistook for a maid she had fired weeks prior. According to CMZ, TMZ weeks ago, Minaj's maid took a photo of the performer out of the trash and asked for an autograph. Minaj was insulted and subsequently fired her maid. One source says that the maid involved in the exchange recently was not the maid that Minaj fired weeks prior, although the singer believed her to be. Regardless, the woman claimed she was physically assaulted by the young money artist and her boyfriend when they forcibly removed her, removed her from the premises. Although a battery report was filed, according to police via TMZ, the woman decided against filing a citizen's arrest. Well, that's it for Music News. I'm Gabe. See you guys later. Back to you guys. Thank you, Gabe. Within the past two weeks, we have not seen much change to our music charts, but here are your top 10 songs. Number 10 comes in with your Party Rock guys, LMFAO, with Party Rock Anthem. Number 9 is the Lady Gaga of Fashion Lady Gaga with You and I. This band makes me feel that it should be at number 8 with Cobra Starship's song You Make Me Feel. Lucky number 7 comes in with the duo of David Guetta and Usher presenting Without You. Gym Class Heroes come in at number six with Stereo Hearts featuring Adam Levine. We give a high five to Maroon 5 who came in fifth on our list with Moves Like Jagger featuring Christina Aguilera. We found Rihanna at number four with We Found Love featuring Calvin Harris. These guys are sexy and they know it. Coming in third on our list is LMFAO with Sexy and I Know It. This band is Pumped Up. Coming in second on our list is Foster the People with Pumped Up Kit. And number one on our list is none other than Miss Adele with Someone Like You. These artists are no strangers to the top 10. They've been in the top 10 for the past couple weeks, so no surprises there. But what is a surprise is J. Cole's new debut album called Cole World, The Sideline Story, which is expected to be in the number one album and has held up to its height. J. Cole's album got four and a half stars and the explicit album has a total of 18 songs and features such names as Trey Songs, Jay-Z, Drake, and even Missy Elliott. So if you're into hip-hop and rap, this is one album that you definitely need to check out. But something else you guys should check out also is more EW coming up right after the break. Stay tuned, fans, because after the break, we'll bring you the comedy styles of Dylan and Mickey as they review upcoming box office movies, along with updated Netflix news and what the best option will be to buy and rent movies. 
and don't worry about what's happening to Brad Pitt on the set of his new movie. Answers and much more when we come back. Don't go anywhere.